welcome back to another Becky the Bus vlog. You know, I'm a little sad today. One, because Cohen keeps hitting my tripod with a giant block of wood. Baby, do you know why I'm sad? Did you have to redo this? No. Did you look like a teenage boy? No. Now you're making me more sad because you're naming <laughs> things that I'm not sad about. I'm sad because this is my last weekend at Becky the Bus before we move in. I emphasize my last weekend because Cohen's still gonna come down like three more times before we move in. But this is my last time being here before we move in because I have to work the next two weekends. And I say sad, I'm not like sad, but it's just like I don't get to be here for the final, final little bits before, you know, we drive it up and whatnot and like live in it in Columbus. So this weekend is my last weekend to like work on anything and give my input and like do all the things. And then from then on, it's all just up to Cohen. We have kind of a lot of game plans this weekend and I feel like the last few Becky the Bus vlogs have been a little rushed in the sense that like obviously we're in the fucking final hours here. We are in crunch time. We've been in crunch time but now that when we come down we're like we have so much to do. We're like jumping around from project to project and obviously we're like vlogging but I'm not talking a lot or like giving you guys the mental input of like what we've been doing like I normally do. I'm gonna try to do better for obviously my last weekend but a lot of things on the agenda. One, installing solar panels. That one's gonna be a little a little cray cray. We will be drilling into the roof of the bus. We have four panels that we're putting up. They're each 200 watts. So we have 800 watts of solar and we have to drill a hole into the bus to like run the wires for the solar down and run them back to the bed area because all the electronic stuff is going to be underneath the bed. We need to finish some of these seats. We have one in. One is still in the garage. We were like painting it, sanding it all down, like making sure the seats were ready to be like permanently installed to the side of the bus here, the wall. We need to put our seat belts in for us to drive it up of course I need a seat belt here Cohen's gonna be driving but we have to have seat belts installed on these seats we're gonna be working more on Kitty's area this weekend we're unfortunately having to undo some of the things that I did in the last vlog Cohen's literally taking all my staples out of my board that I did last vlog so basically it doesn't fit like the board's too big wide wise to with fit the rope on it. with the rope on it like obviously we the we fitted the board up there and we're like yeah it's great and then I wrapped it in a rope and with the white rope it's actually great like it fits but the brown rope that I had to go back and get does not fit up there and it doesn't like it just doesn't sit the way we want it to so now we have to basically cut down the board to like and we can use uh, this white rope inside the thing now if we want to at least now it's not gonna be ombre because I can do the whole board in the brown rope again and then we'll use the white rope somewhere else but kind of sucks to undo a project of course because we waste it all the time whatever um we're gonna be doing a lot with the front door this weekend so the outside has been stained and polyurethane so it's like sealed and whatnot on the outside the wood wise but the inside we haven't touched the wood and we do need to like paint it and seal it we should have done it a long time ago because you know we don't want the wood to like rot and get wet and stuff like that so I'm gonna be painting painting the inside of the door today or at least this weekend and I'm really excited about it we have some like trim to go over the windows to kind of make like a little window ledge and we have the seal hopefully like on the edge like you know when you close your door it has that little like rubber gasket seal kind of thing we currently don't have one on the door right now so we need to put that in and kind of just finish the front door because of course when we move in we want that to be like fully sealed and locked and loaded kind of thing we installed our actual lock or deadbolt the other week so we're good with the locking side but we need to seal it and like finish the front door. We still need to do a lot of insulating and taping. So we have a lot of insulation boards. We ran out of foil tape a while ago, but we did buy some more. So we just need to do that. Hopefully then after we drill the hole for the solar, we can insulate around because we haven't touched the roof on this side of the bus over there because that's where all the solar panels are about to get like bolted into and whatnot. And we need to drill our hole. And we're going to spray it with water up there and make sure nothing's leaking. And then we can attach the solar panels and then we can insulate and then we can put the roof boards up. Definitely a lot of things still need to be done in the bus, of course as you can like see behind me but I've been very honest and upfront that this bus will not be ready by the time we move in so in three weeks this bus will not be ready if you're expecting that lower your expectations <laughs> so a lot <laughs> We know that we are well mentally prepared for that. And it's just a part of the fun, a part of the journey at this point. And we're gonna move into it at whatever state it's in in three weeks, because that's when our lease is up and we have to move in and we'll finish it while we live in it. But we do wanna make it as comfortable as possible before we move in. That's kind of especially, what we're going for. Yeah, especially for the animals. Oh yeah, enough of me yapping. Actually, it's not enough because I'm about to do a haul. We went to the store last night and we got a whole bunch of goodies because we used to start going to the store like Saturday mornings and then 
it would like prolong when we got started on the bus. And so we started going on Friday nights. Whenever we would get into town, we'll just go to Lowe's at 9 p.m. and get all the things we need so we can like get started in the morning. So let me show you what we got. I feel like we haven't done a proper Becky haul in a while. First things first, we have a drill bit set. You know, when we first started renovating the bus and we found a whole bunch of drill bits underneath the subfloor because we're like, oh my gosh, the previous owners are just like losing all of their tools. <laughs> so are we and they're breaking and <laughs> we need new drill bits. <laughs> Just drilling into a metal bus can be a little rough on your tools, okay? And we got in like a little compact one because this will be the one, hopefully, if we don't break any of these, that'll just like stay on the bus with us if we ever need to like fix something or whatever. So this is like our set because all the tools we've been using are Cohen's dad's anyways. So we need to start accumulating like little bits of tools that we want to bring with us on the road. We also have carpenter pencils because Cohen loses them all. You're not laughing at that one. <laughs> We also have wood glue and we have scotch double-sided mounting tape. We are planning on using this with the solar panel mounts. We have self tapping screws and self like sealing screws kind of thing. Like they have a rubber gasket to hopefully like block any of that, but we're gonna take an extra layer of protection and essentially use this double-sided tape to go over where we're going to drill. So it'll stick to the bus and then we're gonna stick that mount to it. And then we're gonna drill through the tape and through everything. So hopefully the stickiness will just create a second barrier of protection for sealing all the holes we're about to drill into the roof. A couple of other accounts that we follow have done this and they said it works great so we decided to give it a shot. These are said screws that we're using. They have a waterproof washer, self-tapping, fancy little screws for our solar panel mounts. And then we needed more regular screws. This is exciting because this is the paint color that we're going with for the inside of the front door and I'm so excited to show you. More rollers for like our roller. We got a new paintbrush. And then we got some expandable foam weather seal. And it is for like doors and windows and stuff like this. It's self adhesive, indoor outdoor use, paintable, even though we're not gonna be painting it. Seals out drafts, moisture, dust, pests. It's a waterproof seal when compressed and slowly expands to seal irregular seams and joints. And our door with it being homemade and on a bus that has curved walls is irregular. So we're hoping that this will do the job of like sealing the little door frame whenever you close the door. And then we have our solar panels that we ordered off of Amazon that we just brought down with us. And then we have trim. Is it outside though? Yeah. I'll show it to you guys when we do the door, but we bought trim pieces to put in like the little window frame ledge. I don't know what to call it, of the front door. That's our haul. That's my yap update. I'll also give you guys like a walkthrough of the updated bus at the end of this weekend. So like where I'm leaving the bus, we'll do like a mini tour at the end of the weekend because I've like given you sneak peeks and like Cohen records my reaction to things, but I don't know if you guys really get the full look at so I want to show it to you at the end. Let's go! We finished wrapping it again. <clears throat> All the same rope, so at least there's no ombre anymore. And now the real test is, will it actually fit again? And if not, I might cry, because I don't want to do it a third time. <laughs> is that a good laugh or bad laugh? Yeah, it's a good laugh. Oh, okay. I mean, it looks like it to me. I don't see it from the outside. Yeah. So there's like a lip that's like this big. So that's why we were trying to like hide it in there. So when you're just standing in the bus, you don't see it and then it drops down. And then we have to build this out and it'll like land on that. But you know, now we can install the lock part on it. So there's gonna be a little lock here to hold it up and then a hinge will be on that end. We're pivoting away from Kitty's area for a second because Cohen wants to open the solar panels. I'm taking over Marissa's channel for a hot second because we got the solar panels in and she is a chicken shit. I just don't want to get on a ladder that's gonna, I just, I picture it going and I die. <laughs> we got three out of the four. You see the box right there. We still have one more to do. What we did was we took these brackets. They're longer, a lot longer. And I drilled three holes in each side. And then I had a sticky tape underneath of it. And then I caulked along it as well. All of them. The solar panels went on. They're connected here together and there together. And then there's an end piece on that one over there. It looks pretty good. I've already tested it out a bit. If I even lift up on this thing, you know, put in a lot of pressure behind it. It ain't coming up. We got, like I said, three out of the four. Dad is in there right now cutting. We had two more brackets and we need four more brackets. So we're cutting the two brackets and making them into four brackets. So we're gonna cut them and put them right here. And then 
the last part of this is going to be a freaking roof deck. So we're putting one right here, and then we'll have a roof deck on the last little bit. You want to know what's funny? Because I told you guys I was going to do this and show you what I was going to do and how I was doing it. I started to do it, and Marissa was like, give the camera on. That's it. Yeah. No. This little rubber guy is going to go on just like that. All right, Dad just handed me up the last solar panel. We get this bad boy on here. Hell yeah. Got the last one in. And then we have all this room right here. There's gonna be a back deck on it. I am excited. This is how much of the back deck that we're just gonna have, which is fine. It's better than not having one at all. Good girl. Yeah. Good morning. Oh, oh, there's a ladybug in my lens. Bye. Okay. Good morning and happy Sunday. We're back in the bus, of course. Colin and his dad has been down here for maybe like an hour or two. I just got a Becky the Bus vlog up. Oh my gosh, the lighting. That we filmed, I think it was like two weeks ago. Because I've been doing all of the daily Q&As on my Instagram from it. And then someone was finally like, I need the vlog from this weekend right now. So I said, okay, fine. And now I'm back down here. It's like 10 a.m. And I'm about to start on this front door. And I'm really excited about it. They did like install the ramp for Kitty. The little locking feature that we had at the end. It's not doing what we thought it was going to do. So we're going to have to change that out but it does look really good and i'm really happy about it we're rocking the pigtail buns today and this is cohen's carhartt shirt because i dressed in pink clothes yesterday thinking we were going to do the door we didn't because we did solar instead and then today i'm going to be painting so put his shirt back on let me show you kitty's ramp i'm so excited look at this like this is the visual that i kept trying to show you but it's finally like installed installed so they have the hinge you can't see it but the hinge is like drilled in and then this goes up into here. Now our locking picture, like I said, is not working the way we want it to because it's still hanging down here where we don't want it to. So we got one of these like hingy hooks. I feel like the lighting isn't that good. And then you turn this back and forth and it like comes out. But we don't like that it's like not tucked as much as we thought it was going to and it's kind of sagging. So we're trying to figure out another thing for this, even though like it's working, but it's not. And then this will get built out so that Kitty can like hop up here and she'll walk up the little ramp. And then you can see her little hole up here. These are our little trim pieces. Show you a little like detailing. So it's just like, it looks like the dowel look. If you guys have seen that on furniture, that's what I really like. This will trim out the window pieces. So we're gonna paint these first, they have time to dry, and then I'll paint the door. I did already post on my Instagram story that we're painting the door, and I'm like, I'm sure you guys can already guess what color we're painting it. You guys did guess it. trim is done and now we can paint the door and I'm so excited but we have to do the most unexciting part first and I have to tape off the handle and our lock that's in here I'm not looking forward to this part whenever we have to do it to the outside of the bus because of course we're gonna have to tape everything like the windows and lights and whenever we go to paint the bus because don't forget our bus is not staying this brown color this is just a primer the time has come Like it. Your ceiling is going to be. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Board. It does. Your ceiling is going to be like this. Yes. Yeah. So then you're not going to see any 
Look who's in the dog bed. You know I am. I have a lot of updates for you and I'm so excited. <sighs> the door is painted and it looks so freaking good. Of course, I'm gonna show you. But while I was doing that, Cohen and his dad was working on the upper cab area and we now have a cabinet, a bookshelf, whatever we want it to be. I'm thinking bookshelf, but we'll see what all we wanna put up there. But it's amazing. Look at this. It's hard to show you without being backlit. Wow, obviously this is all like roughed in. We still have to put the ceiling panel in, which will cover up, you know, all of our like holes and stuff and insulation. You're not gonna see any of this, but we have a shelf. I'm so pumped about this. And then we have a mini shelf. This is gonna be open shelving and then we'll put like a little cutie bar across it so everything can be out. Hopefully books, like I said, but it looks so freaking good. And then up here, we're thinking anything. Oh, look at the sneak. The door looks so good. Okay, obviously this will be whatever we need it to be. I'm already realizing that whatever I think it's gonna be right away, it's probably not gonna be. Like we're gonna end up changing our mind a hundred times or just realizing that we need the space for something else. But as of right now, we're thinking this could potentially be like our medicine cabinet of sorts because it's small. It's not like we can fit like huge things in here. Like it's the size of my hand, but we can put a little door over it and keep like our ibuprofen, a little mini like first aid kit. We can keep NyQuil, DayQuil, just like random little things like that. Cause we do actually have medicine cabinets in our apartment right now and we're not gonna have a medicine cabinet in the bus. So I'm thinking that space might be good for that, but we'll see once we move in like what finds its way into there. But this looks so good. It completely transforms this whole area. We still need to finish the bottom of this cab, of course, but like, wow. And let me just set you up for this one. You're gonna be backlit. You're gonna have to deal with it. And you're crooked, deal with it. We also have Kitty's ramp done. And then this drops down. Isn't that amazing? Oh, you can't see that well. Pretend you're kitty and then go up this little hole that's right here and pop out up top and then her bed's gonna be up here. Kitty Oasis. I'm pumped. I'm just so glad that this is done for her as well so that way she can hang out up here. Well, I guess it's not done. We're obviously gonna fill all this in as well. You're not gonna see the bus. You're not gonna see anything. It's gonna be like finished, but we still need to do that. Obviously the door, you saw me paint. It looks so good. The sun's kind of gone. We're like cloudy, but in the sun, it's beautiful. I think it's gonna look so much better with the blue bus, of course, duh. Right now it's like rust and they kind of clash, but you can see the vision and it adds the pop of color inside that I wanted. We still need to put the trim pieces on here. I have them painted and they're right here, but we just need to like cut them down and nail gun them in and whatnot. But the door looks gorgeous, like 10 out of 10. I love it. Oh my goodness. Now something else kitty related that I was about to do and I'm like, I haven't even shown you guys yet. This is essentially where we're putting kitty's litter box. I've never talked about it. People have asked and I just kept forgetting that I haven't talked about it, but this was the plan all along. Kitty's litter box is going to be under my seat. This seat is going to be bolted right here up against this soon to be wall. This is where our fridge is going. So this will be up against here and Kitty's litter box is going to be underneath the seat. So this guy fits under here. Like that. Picture this a wall. She'll enter through this door, walk through the hallway because there's a wall through this door, which will take her into her litter box. And we did it like this so that way the dogs can't get to it either because, you know, I don't want little dog snoots inside the litter box. And this is our pallet dinette seating that slides out. So it's completely hidden away while we're in here, while we're driving, all the things. You'll just see this one little door for Kitty. And then for me to change the litter box, we just pull this back out. Pull this out and then pull it all the way out. And I can change it through the top, take this top off or just reach in there and do it. It does have a door. I don't want the door on it personally, but that's Kitty's litter box area. Like I was saying, I feel like the dogs don't care, but I need to have the space ready for Kitty. So we've been really trying to get it done this weekend. And I'm really happy with like, where we're at in that. We like measured the inside of this chair and I like looked up dimensions for litter boxes and stuff. So I had to get this one cause this is the one that fits. We just need to finish the upper cabinet like where her bed area is gonna be. We're gonna cover it with like fabric. So it's not gonna be wood because her fur is just gonna like stick to that. It's also gonna stick to the fabric but the fabric's gonna be easier to clean. And I don't want her to get like little weird splinters at all. So every piece of wood is gonna get covered with fabric or like a rug type material carpet. Her bed and everything will be kitty proofed. We're about to secure my seat in and I'm so excited because we have to secure my seat in and then we can secure Cohen's seat in and then we can put the table in and the table arm and I just want that so bad more than anything. All right, <clears throat> Jesus. 
My seat's in. We're not going nowhere. And now we can think about where the seat belt's gonna go. Okay, so. I just swept under here. <laughs> Alrighty. Someone asked, like, how are you guys gonna, you know, keep the bus clean and, like, you know, be able to, like, vacuum it and, like, sweep it? I was like, you just vacuum and sweep it. Take a broom and you sweep it. And then we want to get, like, a... It can plug in. It doesn't have to be cordless, but, like, just, like, a little handheld, like, little one. Mm -hmm. So we can get in, like, nooks and crannies and stuff like that. Someone also asked... I think it was in my last vlog or was it on Instagram? I forget. But someone asked, like, why we put drawer locks in. They were like, oh, does your dog, like, know how to open the cabinets and stuff like that? And thank God, no. They're not that smart. But... The the drawer locks are for like when we're driving and stuff so that way like when we take turns this isn't like woo and like we lose all of our shit so the drawer locks are to secure everything while we're in motion not for our really smart dogs <laughs> my feet <laughs> we need to get you like a little foot rest thingy. Like a little ottoman or something. Yeah. yeah. Before anyone does ask, why do we make our seats so big? It was because we had to fit little things like a litter box under here. We also, at first, I will admit, thought that we'd have a counter behind us instead of the fridge. And I remember specifically saying it would drive me insane. Like if our floor plan looking at it went rrr, 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 and everything was like different sizes. So I'm like, let's make our chairs 30 inches. So that way it goes right up to the countertop and everything's the same. And then now we don't even have a counter behind us. So that's why our seat is so big. But it's also, we have four inch foam. We wanted the seats big. We wanted this area to be comfy. I'm personally gonna be spending a lot of time here. Cohen's gonna be driving. I'm gonna be sitting here. So I want this to be comfy. I wanna be able to sit like crisscross applesauce. Like I want a big seat. So it's doing exactly what I want it to, but my feet dangle. It's time to get mine done and put it in here so we can get the table in. It feels so official that this is in now. Also, the back cushions I put into the dog den and Naya is currently sleeping on them. I don't know if you can see her because she's, obviously she's a black dog and it's like really dark in there, but she's in there sleeping in the dog den and I put those in there because obviously I want her to lay on something. We're going to put a dog bed in there, of course, but right now we don't have anything. So that's where the back cushion is at on this, but it feels so cool to have that secured. <sighs> Cohen seat is installed. We were just about to try to figure out how to do this table arm, but long story short, it's not gonna work how we thought it was because this is the mounting part on the bottom and it has holes here and on the bottom. So you need it to be like long wise. However, we don't have, we just looked at pictures of the bus before we put this wall up because we were trying to figure out where the like stud is essentially that we could secure it to. We only have one here running long wise and then down here where this board is at the top. We have nothing going this way, which means we can't mount it how we thought we were. So we're gonna have to put basically a piece of wood here, like a big board, which is ugly and kind of upset about it. We didn't think through that, but we're gonna have to mount this here and secure it where the studs are. And then we can mount that wherever we want on this board. <sighs> But not that it's like late, late, but it is getting late and we just have to keep in mind that it's a two hour drive back home. So we're not gonna be able to do this today. And Cohen's gonna have to do it next time because this is my last trip to the bus. This is my last time here before we move in. So we're gonna clean up and I'm gonna give you guys like a full montage, essentially a breakdown, a look at the bus. Cause I feel like I've talked you guys through it, but you can't see all the details. So I'm just gonna get y'all up in Becky's business, put it to some music and give you a little before montage from the last time that I will see the bus before we move in. Wild. Mm -hmm. 